Hello everyone, uh, so one of our subscriber Colin has asked for a video to save the signature directly to SharePoint. Uh, so uh, this is the follow up to the uh, last video that we made uh, that was about signing a doc document and generating a PDF. So to create a, a signature and to store it in the SharePoint or OneDrive, uh, what we are going to do first is uh, put uh, the uh, put the signature input here so this is pen input so in this uh, signature pad you can do the signature so whatever you sign so uh, I'll, I'll put a uh, some text editor just to show whatever you write and we'll put a button so yeah so this is a button so if i put this is the name of the signature and if i put it here dot image so this uh, gives you the uh, blob story area of uh, this uh, whatever we scribble here but what if what if uh, I put uh, on select if I set a variable uh, let's call it uh, signature data from pen input one dot image okay so now let's see what uh, this keeps so hopefully scribble has something and so as you can see that we have a, a base 64 data of this particular image is being uh, stored in uh, the variable signature data uh, oops, oops, should I, signature data so let's call it signature data let's generate it again okay so uh, so in this uh, data the only data that we need is uh, starting from this comma so whatever is uh, before this one we do not need it so we need only uh, whatever we have it here so for that what we need to do is uh, we need uh, we write a code where we store signature data and what we do is we would only take the data from signature data that starts from uh, comma So what this does is in signature data uh, I'll get the data uh, starting from uh, IVBRO and rest of here will uh, will be neglected so now uh, everything is done let's test it out again see start from here now we need to create a flow that uh, creates the image and saves it in SharePoint or OneDrive or whatever you want. So what we need to do is we need to go to the action, uh, click Power Automate, uh, create a new flow. So there, is, there already can be flows here, uh, which can be existing flows, but since we want to create our own, uh, so let's just take this one. Let's add a step. 
so we need a create file okay so uh, you can do it for a shipment as well but I'm doing it for one drive so it's creating okay so we need to define the folder part let's take root and so you can throw the file name from the paragraph itself but just for this example um, okay let's just accent paragraphs so by accent paragraphs and file content we also get from paragraphs so what you can do is uh, this gives a good enough value but uh, this gives you uh, this content <coughs> which is not very useful for creating a file so it needs a uh, so it needs a, a base 64 uh, a binary data of uh, whatever content that you get from here so I'll just cutting it so I, I just press uh, control X and base 64 to binary and inside it I paste it since I we do not need the extra uh, curly braces I'll just remove that and so this things uh, converts the base 64 data to binary and this gives you create file and I just say it now since this is triggered from here I think it should appear yeah so this one uh, is the flow that we just created and I just okay sorry oops let's just copy if just so that okay anyways so the name of the flow was I think oops damage has been done so uh, since it over uh, replaced my previous code I cut it out so I'll just paste it so the name of the flow is power apps button run and since you are passing uh, the data from here uh, if you go and peek code so you need to pass Uh, oops there is some problem here so uh, the we are just asking for we are just asking for create file uh, file name here so power apps will pass only one data and if you want to get two data I'll need to click ask in power apps so we'll just getting file name from for power apps but in this case we are getting file name as well as uh, base 64 uh, uh, data as well so I can click accent power apps and then copy this one cut it okay sorry oops uh, so it's so I'll just cut it uh, and paste it again and remove this and we need to scroll the braces as well and update it and delete the previous one so i have create file name and then another one create file underscore file name so i think there are two now Oops. okay uh i think it's still a problem i'll just cut it um, uh, okay i've just cut it and paste it again sorry paste it again remove those braces so yeah now you're finally getting the okay you're getting content uh, in this one and you're getting the file name from the first one save it and now pass the file name let's call it signature dot pc and signature data okay oops okay. so uh 
it is expecting one but uh, we are throwing two that's the error that it's showing but i think it's something it should be fixed we just uh, this should not have been a problem but it's a problem because we put a uh, first uh, two data uh, just one data in the first try so it's just showing i think it should work though oops it's not working so let's just go to power automate save it again hopefully the error will get fixed if I put So I'm just removing it and putting it again just so that this error does not happen again. Mm -hmm. Go to power automate, put this one again. Now you see the error has been removed just because we have uh, updated some stuff here and it was not taken here. I remove it, put it again, and it stops showing. So I'll click the button. Uh, it's just generating the file here, but uh, you can remove this part. And if you go here and see it running, so it has already succeeded. Let's just check the flow. signature file has been generated and as you see the signature that we did here is now converted into a file uh, so this is how you can create the uh, signature image and save it in the OneDrive thank you